Hello, hello, hello. What is up? What is up? This is the Lone Wolf here to bring you another anime review. And this time, I am doing it on Hunter x Hunter episode 87, Duel and Escape. You know, you know, and I will say this, something funny I, I, I found, that uh, Crunchyroll had this miss, uh, misnamed, and they had the episode named the same as last week's <coughs> in the program. So that I thought that was, I knew that, I was like, wait a minute, that, that it's not promising reunion it again, you know? So I went back and had to um, double check that one. But uh, <coughs> the way to do it uh, is I looked at last week's, you know, trailer for the next episode, and that's how I found it. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. Now, basically, this episode kind of starts again with the other one left off. You get the boys training, trying to break their three-hour record. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me trying to break that three-hour record and uh finally they do they finally re beat it and that's when biscuits like all right go challenge uh knuckle and they're like what we're exhausted you can't win she's like oh it doesn't matter you're gonna challenge him every time you complete this until you beat him and she's like it doesn't even matter just go do it <coughs> and they're like all right He's waiting in a field, and we start to get a, an idea of his character. He's there with a puppy who like won't leave him alone, and he he, he uh... then the boys get out and they're they're in full power up mode, and uh, they go to do what they can, and he intimidates the crap out of them because he he's stronger than them supposedly, and he's like, all right, dudes, I tell you what. I'll let you hit me as many times as you can. If you can make me move from this spot, you will go down. You know, I, I will give you my chip. Right? And he's like, all right, all right. So, or you'll he'll let you keep his chip. That, that's what he said. So, Gon is up first. And, you know, he knows he's not as strong as him, but he's going to do it anyway. Rock, paper, rock, fist. And as he's standing there waiting, he's like, oh, man, I'm in trouble. Who told me this kid could do that? I'm going to have to block. Let, let's, hope he, let's hope he hits me in the stomach. All right. I'm going to trust him. He's going to hit me in the stomach. And then he hits him and just sends him flying, knocks him out. They take him back. You know, uh, he he gets, you know, he, he wakes up <coughs> and the boys are still training and and uh, they're like, oh, you're a good dude. I know that from fighting you. And Killua looks his, his, his way of uh, wanting to see something to judge it for itself first. So he's going to fight it. It's kind of naive. Well, considering Killua has seen what these ants are capable of. <coughs> uh, also, we get more of the comment of, you know, animals like good hunters and, and all that. Um, then we get all three of them are eating together and it's funny because Palm walks in and she's gonna she's gonna stab him <coughs> and she doesn't because he's enjoying her food I think that's what it is and he basically is like dude you could uh you guys can challenge me pretty much whenever you want you know I'll be there but he's like, there's no way you're going to beat me in the month time that you have. So, I'll say that. And, uh... So then we get a, we also get a scene of, meanwhile, back at the Chimera Ants headquarters. We get, first, uh, the chairman's team. They're creating with fire and, or smoke and illusion. <laughs> um, like, traps that put them into put them into almost like a pocket dimension where the chairman kicks you know the ant's ass and basic and kills them and basically they're doing this to 
to mess with them, you know, and strategically start taking out their grunt forces before they have to go up against the big guns and hopefully send their army into disarray. Uh, meanwhile, Colt figures out that somebody's messing with him, and uh, him and, and, and Penguin Owlboy, right, decide to go get some help. First, they're going to ask the Queen if they should move the thing, and Colt's like, we can't bother at this moment. You do get a scene of the Queen just before this, and she's eating <coughs> her meat, human meatballs, and the baby kicked, so, or moved, so alright. It's any time now before this king is born. Um, so then they're gonna go past Cat Chick for help. And she's like, still trying to bring Kite back from the dead, and all of a sudden now she has a laboratory, and and she's good at science, apparently. And that's what she's up to. And they're like, oh, well. She's like, don't worry. The defense of the inside, the Royal Guard's got. Nobody will, will, will mess with us. You just handle the outside. And so they're going to go off and try to figure out a way to strategize and motivate. And that's that's what they start to do to brainstorm. Then we go back to... Uh, to our three hunters and they're like uh, basically you know they're discussing the tactics and they're like well you know I'm sure they're gonna move the weakest divisions with the strong divisions and we should attack them sporadically and increase our attacks to create chaos and descents and uh, hopefully before our reinforcements arrive we'll crush them but meanwhile, the chairman isn't looking too enthusiastic on that idea because he knows what he's up against. After all, she's just one guard he saw. And they know there are two other guards. And if the king gets born, so they, they could be in trouble. Then we go back to the boys. They do their power-up routine again. Then they go to fight uh, Knuckle. Knuckle starts sparring with them, basically. And the fight is on. Meanwhile, Shoot is in the background, looking all sinister, like I'm gonna do something. You know, as soon as uh, this this gets done, I'm gonna do something about this. So we'll see. If we'll, we'll, we'll try to get a handle on Shoot's personality, um, and that's cool. And uh, that's pretty much the end of the episode. That's pretty much it. Now we got more training, sort of. You know, we got some comedy out of Knuckle. I really like Knuckle. I think he's hilarious. He's a loud mouth with a heart of gold, you know? And I find him... I just find him funny. And he's a bit... He's a bit silly. Um, so I dig that. I love seeing... Anytime I can see the boys power up and go at something, that's a good day for me, you know? That's a good day, and you got to see them fight. I Biscuit's still pretty funny towards them, and... You, you, you get, uh, there's a lot of little comedic moments with Palm and, uh, her creepiness. So, hopefully, we'll see what happens, and, uh, you know, hopefully by next episode, things will start to move a little faster, and, um, we get to see more chaos, you know? But, uh, what am I gonna rate this episode? I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. I thought it was a very good episode. Um, like I said, with the action and, uh, and the slight, at least we're starting to get some strategy out of, out of, uh, what the chairman's thinking, so that's good, and we're starting to see, we haven't seen the payoff yet, and I believe the next episode is, uh, Rock, Scissor, Paper, and Weakness, so we get to see the fight to see which group goes, to NGL and which group doesn't, I think. And uh, that's going to be awesome. So having said all this, uh, and uh, again, if you guys have noticed, I have the return of my new my new cell phone, the Nokia Lumia 920, which I'm recording on, and that means I'm back in HD. So thanks for bearing with me for uh, horrible SD bad. <coughs> but, um, Anyway, so click it up if you like it, comment if you must, and please, please, please subscribe if you can. And this is your buddy Alert Wolf signing out.